This Month in Anabaptist World. Finding Pride in My Brother. Finding My Brother at Pride. When Gerhard Thiessen came out as gay 40 years ago, the church he grew up in had a predictable reaction. A theological drift pushed him and his brother Peter apart, but the two found reconciliation in recent years. Mennonites respond to discovery of graves at Canadian residential school. The discovery of remains of 215 indigenous children in unmarked graves at a former Catholic church-run residential school in Kamloops, BC, has prompted responses from religious groups across Canada, including Mennonites. A modern Nehemiah in Nigeria. Pastor Chuang Pam, an Anabaptist pastor in Los Angeles, is originally from Nigeria. When he heard about violence in 2018 between Fulani Islamic herdsmen and farming communities, he resolved to see about his kindred's welfare. Land of Hope Three years after Hurricane Harvey, a new community has opened doors to hope for 23 families in a Texas small town. Mennonite Disaster Service and Disaster Aid Ohio dedicated the last 13 homes in the Tierra de Esperanza, Land of Hope, community, May 20. In Pennsylvania or Palestine, peacemaking isn't passive. What does Jesus ask of us? For Amy Yoder McLaughlin, the answer is clear. Get active for peace, even when it's uncomfortable. She has had several annual delegations to Palestine with Christian peacemaker teams. Economic vitality benefits religious life in Siberian village. A Mennonite Breton community is thriving in a remote Russian province bordering Kazakhstan. In 2018, a Polonovka's unregistered Baptist congregation, actually Mennonite Brethren, completed a nearly 900-seat church building. Read the latest at anabaptistworld.org.